Welcome back to Dr. Sean TV. Mga kasambahay, dahil sight-saving month this August, ang topic natin this morning tungkol sa eye care. Siyempre, we're still with our very special friend, the President of Fatima University Medical Center and the Section Head of Cataract and Refractive Surgery, Dr. Vic Santos. But before we proceed with the discussion, may babatiin po si Ms. Yas. Oh yes, binabati po namin lahat ng taga-tawi-tawi medical center na lagi pong nanonood sa atin. Hello, good morning. Hello. I love tawi-tawi. The, the, tawi -tawi. the best yung fruits nila doon. The best. Talaga? Even their lobsters. The best wow. lobster that oh I've God. tried. Nako. Good morning sa inyo. Sana ang tabayanan ninyo kami lagi-lagi every Sunday. Okay. So, yeah. Doc, back to the discussion. Kanina pinag-usapan natin, error of refraction, yung mm -hmm. mga nearsighted or farsighted. Kailan ba dapat magpa-check up ang isang tao? And ano bang usual na gagawin sa isang tao kung magpa-check up siya? Well, uh, dapat ang isang tao, annually, nagpapa-eye check up. Every year, lahat, ah, lahat ng tao. Everyone, everyone. Kahit nang walang nararamdaman. Kahit walang nararamdaman because, uh, well, it's also a good way of detecting any other condition, no? Okay. Kasi marami dyan, uh, nagkakatuhan kami ni Yas uh, uh, kanina. Pwedeng you're seeing 2020, pero maaaring isang mata lang ang ginagamit. Mm, At okay. unless uh, people have the habit of uh, doing this, mm -mm. they will not detect that one eye is actually not seeing very well. Yes. And, um, and more so for kids, no? Kasi a lot of them might have some uh, uh, error of refraction na nagre-resulta ng amblyopia or lazy eye. Lazy oh. eye. Lazy eye. Oh. Kung saan saan napupunta yung mata. Kano yeah. ka bata dapat magsimula magpa-check ng mata? Uh, I, I would say uh, preschool. Oh, uh, ano preschool. Ka? Oh, kasi i, any error in uh, refraction, uh, it might be a hindrance to learning. So, mm, kung yeah. Some kids have learning True. difficulties. Akala ng teacher, tamad lang. Oh, yung pala hindi nila nakikita. Yung pala hindi nila nakikita yung blackboard. Oh, yung You know uh, what? Before we proceed, Doc, no, we mentioned earlier about sa brother ko. Now, that's why we were very careful sa family namin sa mata. That's why my sister stayed on as 2020 kasi my mom was really careful with, the eye, with our eyes. Kasi my brother, hindi namin alam, pinanganak pala na blind yung kabila. Mm, oh, really? Okay. Na mata. He's almost 50 now. So, ibig sabihin nun, Doc, nung panahon na yan, hindi pa uso yung check-up. Alam mo, yung eyeglasses niya noon, yung isa nandito, yung isa nandito, okay. walang kumakasya. Kasi sobrang makapal na to, hindi pa rin nakakorek. So, akala lang nila, yun pala, nung high school, nung medyo okay na yung system ng check-up, no? Ng, ng mga ganyan, no? Eh, na-discover na bulag pala. But okay. that brother of mine is a sharp shooter. <laughs> Up to now. Yun pala, sabi ni Doc, kasi sanay na siya na isa lang yung mata na ginagamit. So, baka 20 yung kabila. Yeah, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. And then, uh, it's funny, nabanggit nyo na, kaya mm -hmm. siya nag-tilt dahil mabigat. Yung, mabigat. Uh, siguro, nung mga panahon na yun, wala pa ho yung mga special high-index na mga lenses. Almost 50 years ago. Oo. Uh -huh, yeah. So, talagang bibigat at bibigat siya kasi oh, oh. palaki ng palaki ng grado, pakapal lang kung pakapal yung salamin. Is, oh. is there a chance, Doc, na maayos yun? Kung may konting vision pa na maayos sa panahon ngayon ha, with our advanced technology? At anong mangyayari kung ayusin? Will there be confusion? We will uh, not be better for him? Or hindi na? Ma mahirap masabi dahil hindi ko po kaharap yung pasyente. Pero meron po kaming parang, ano, no? parang rules of ophthalmology. If there is still light perception and there mm -hmm. is still improvement mm -hmm. sa pag-change uh, mm -hmm. ng lens, there is always hope. Mm -hmm. Ang talaga medyo, uh, hindi lang naman ta uh, makapagbigay ng reassurance pag no light perception. Wala na. Pag hindi na makita okay. yung ilaw. Ilaw. Oh. Pero, ang dami pong pwedeng mangyari. Kailangan po namin makita yung pasyente. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Look, going back to blurring of vision, yeah. uh, we have patients who tend to go to the mall, dun sila pupunta sa mga optometrist. Ano mong difference when you go to an optometrist and, and to an Opta. ophthalmologist? And well, yeah. Kanina the, sila dapat pumunta tayo. Uh, ang, optal, ang optometrist are... Uh, Uh, people who underwent a uh, degree in uh, the College of uh, Optometry, okay. mm -hmm. which means they're very, very qualified to take grades, uh, prescribe contact lenses and glasses, mm -hmm. uh, and other uh, prosthetic devices. An ophthalmologist is a medical doctor okay. who specializes in the eye, right. so they can also do that, all the refractive mm -hmm. things. However, they can also diagnose and treat Uh, underlying uh, medical mm. conditions okay. of which ang optometrist uh, wala po silang ano po, no? uh, training for that. 
Ah, so the difference is diagnostics and treatment? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. But if you go to an optometrist and they see something wrong, refer they, will, they will refer it to patients to yes. ophthalmologists. Yes. And uh, sa kabutihan palad, uh, they do the right thing naman po. Pag hindi nila mm -hmm. makorrect mm -hmm. beyond the mm -hmm. corrective yes, power, then it's probably something wrong. They refer them to us. Yeah, and yeah. they are our friends and uh, partners in uh, eye care. Mm -hmm. We have okay. a lot of patients with red eyes. They're very irritated. They complain na parating namumula. Ano bang mga dapat isipin pag namumula yung mata? Well, napakarami po ng, ano, no, ng disease condition ng red eyes. No? Uh, it's important that you don't confuse one with the other no? mm -hmm. because for all we know, kala natin sore eyes, yung pala may acute angle closure glaucoma mm -hmm. o kaya may corneal abrasion. So, one drop might work for sore eyes. It's totally wrong for another, another disease condition. Mm -hmm. So, ang, ang masasabi ko lang po, no? Sore eyes, uh, uh, keratitis, glaucoma, and uh, yeah, yun, yun po ang mga causes ng red eyes. We have to know which kind. So you really need to see an, a doctor for, for red eyes. Is it normal, Doc? Tanong ko lang nga, kasi yung mom ko, Hi, Mommy. Enjoy your vacation at tagay <laughs> Yung mom ko po kasi, every morning, after after taking a bath, namumula yung mata niya. Yeah. Tapos I don't know, hindi naman daw na, napapasukan ng shampoo, shampoo or soap. soap. But it's really red. Like, you can see the... Well, How long naman? Okay. Uh, Siguro mga good 30 minutes. Uh, mga ganun. Uh, well, I don't know. I have to see the patient. But if it's upon waking up, it's probably dry eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes they sleep with the eyes part, open, uh, partly open. Partly open. open. Mm -hmm. Oh. Trust me, yes, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. may mga ibang conditions pa na cause ng uh, sirang mata or blurring of vision. Especially diabetes na nabanggit natin yes. kanina. Ano ba nangyayari naman sa diabetes? Bakit nasisira yung mata? Well, actually, diabetes is the number one cause of, uh, Blind. of blindness. Uh, ang nangyayari po dyan, bumabagal po ang daloy ng dugo dun sa retina. And the vessels themselves, they become weak and they malfunction. So, nagli-leak yung mga proteins, yung mga red blood cells, they leak out. And the oxygenation of the, of the retina becomes lessened. Pag nangyayari po yun, nagpo-produce po ng mga bagong ugat which eventually pop and bleed into the vitreous cavity along with some fibrosis, hinihila po yung retina at nagkakaroon po ng retinal detachment. So yung sensor ng mata, yan yung nasisira ng yes. diabetes? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh.